Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Lexicon's Figure Reviews. I've been collecting figures since 1996, about the same time I started watching wrestling. And uh, today we're going to be looking at Vader from Mattel's Legends Series 3 line. Vader comes with two masks that are removable, as well as a cape and a stand. Also stay tuned after the review for still pictures, as well as some information on how to support these videos. Let's crack it open. The figure is about 7 inches tall. Articulation. Leg goes up and down, but it feels like there's like a rubber band stop it, stopping it from going forward even more. Knee goes up, down, swivel at the ankle as well as feet up and down arm goes outwards up and down elbow swivel the wrist even though the wrist is a little bit tough to get the first time around arm or er, hand does not go up and down excuse me the head goes up and down as well as the torso now this Vader figure is pretty good. The uh, attire is from his early WCW days and you get a black mask with it. Though I would have preferred maybe the elephant headdress that he wore to the ring. But that was done in uh, Jack's, one of Jack's uh, representations of Vader. So it comes with the stand as well with the nameplate. It comes with this cape which is pretty cool but doesn't quite fit right. Uh, it's, it's the strap in the front. It's like it's too wide. Sometimes you can get it to look okay, but most of the time it will just be falling off to the side. I actually don't remember Vader with the cape, although I know he did wear it, as I've seen pictures of him wearing it, but to me, Vader is the WWF Vader with the red mask. I would have liked to see to have seen the uh, WWF attire as well with the uh, red and black front that says Vader time on it. Now the head scan is actually really well done as far as uh, the hair as you get his reverse mohawk there. The masks are pretty easy to take off a little tough to put on but you can get the hang of it. It's good that they actually gave you the option to remove the mask and didn't just mold it onto his face. Now one thing I do want to complain about, and this isn't the problem really of Mattel, but my figure did come with some scuffs on his back out of the package and we'll get you some uh, still photos for that. All in all this Vader figure is a very good buy. It comes with a lot of accessories and uh, you can basically make what Vader era you want depending on which mask you put on. I only got this figure for 15 and some change so it was a pretty good deal at my local Toys R Us. The paint job on the side is very well done. The red boots, black laces, and the red and black tights with Vader down the side. The only complaint really about the figure is that it could have been a little bit bulkier. I mean, Vader was a big dude, and this figure is... It's okay, but it's not quite up to snuff. So, if you like this review, please go to my website, wrestlelex.weebly.com. Show your support by checking out the website, because my Google AdSense account was cancelled. So, uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed. Stay tuned for episode two, coming up soon.